uh, you were just uh, uh, telling me uh, that you guys have been threatened now, uh, and that I don't even want to make uh, your ex-husband, you know, the bad guy here. And I asked that you said, no, he's not really. He he's being threatened. He's being pressured. I guess the choice of CPS or take your son. Uh, but first, let's get into the threats, Barry. Well. Uh, we've received threats and uh, attorneys of ours that know some people high up and we've gotten hundreds of phone calls, people warning us and some other police officers that if we continue doing these cop stings, the next step is they'll plant something on me and put me away for 20 years or, or they'll, uh, they'll shoot me. So uh, like I said, we're one family exposing corruption, and the cost is very high. I had no idea this would ever happen. Well, you're also getting ready to run for political office. That's another reason they want to bust yeah, you. Yeah, I'm actually running for Texas Attorney General. And uh, by the way, one of the judges, uh, I'd also let it out that if I didn't win Texas Attorney General, that I was going to run for judge in Precinct 5 of Austin. It turns out it was that judge in Precinct 5 that signed the search warrant to our home. Wow, so this is the political boss hogs in these counties are going, boy, you don't expose the good business we got. We got these Christians around here fooled that we're trying to stop everything. They don't understand how it really works. Now, you going to keep your mouth shut, boy. Uh, that's yeah. exactly right. That was a very good impression of what we're up against. Yeah. We run these counties. We run these slaves around here. Yeah, and the, the JP that signed the arrest warrant for us, it's her son that's the prosecutor on this case. The sergeant that raided my house, I used to be a hero of his when I was a narcotics officer teaching other officers through academy, throughout academies in Texas how to seize the narcotics that I was seizing. And uh, I was one of his heroes. And since I switched side, he's had a vendetta against us ever since. So when we busted one of his friends stealing drug money, that's when he came through our door with the guns drawn. But again, the key to all of this, here is the police report, confidential, uh, that that you guys got a hold of, so we're allowed to release it here. And it says the reason your son was taken, please explain your current concerns regarding supervision of the ch child children. Parents are unsuitable and create an environment where the children believe the government is out to harm them. And Alex, there's another statement in there that says Barry doesn't believe in church and hates his dad and wants his dad to die. Well, it's true I don't believe in the church because of the harms they brought on this country. And the reason I uh, don't care if my father dies or not, because he, he thinks I belong in jail. He's one of those old, white, Baptist, Christian males, and he still thinks I should be separated from my family. So I disowned him three years. But the point is, I mean, they're taking your personal comments and things and criticizing hypocrisy as if that's why you have to have your children taken. Exactly, and that's what we're having to fight. So this is taking people's children for their political speech. That's what's going Very on. Very dangerous precedent. Every parent is threatened. I mean, this is this is thought crime. You're a thought criminal, 1984. Very serious. Very serious. You know, Rosa Parks had to stand up on a bus one day to get something changed, and we stood up on a bus trying to prove that these cops actually do commit crimes and we well, the drugs are brought in to reinstate slavery. They bring in addictive substances, push the legal ones on the kids at the same time. They're caught everywhere dealing them, controlling them, stealing the money. And they're the ones that want to keep it illegal, just like the drug dealers we've interviewed want to keep it illegal. Because they understand it's a black market that makes them all the money. And they're hoping the public doesn't figure this out. I, ha I don't like drugs. I don't like any of them. Uh, I mean, even coffee, I can't get off of it. Uh, but, but the issue is you shouldn't go to prison for it. Exactly. And, and, you know, we caught a cop committing a felony stealing drug money and nothing's happened to him. But we got raided. And you had HBO with you. That footage is up on your website. Tell folks the name of the video and where they can see it. It's NeverGetBusted.com. It's a 45 minute video entitled uh, Liberty Hill Finders Keepers. The whole 45 minute sting is there from uh, beginning to end. And there you are for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers. Uh, a, a, a clip out where you run out with the HBO crew and sh uh, show what's going on. Wow. That's confronting the officer, and shortly after, you can uh, see where that cop actually was, threw the bag away and took the money. You mean even after you confronted him, he did that, or before? On no, what we did, I secretly filmed him stealing that money, and I held it in my pocket for three months 
until the HBO film crew could get down here. Then we went into Liberty Hill to confront that officer. But that's okay to do that. It's just if we catch a kid with marijuana cigarette, we're going to throw him into prison that Bubba happens to own. And they didn't even catch my kid with a marijuana cigarette. We'll be right back. But whenever you're persecuted and you stay the course, God will open doors for you. We're going to talk about some of the exciting things that are happening for you guys right now. We need to pray for you, pray for your son, your daughter, pray for everybody involved, your ex-husband. You know, I mean, this whole thing is so terrible, uh, what's happening, and, and them taking your son uh, because you criticize the government. I mean, they've really opened themselves up to civil rights lawsuits. I want to say something about Williamson County and other rural counties that, that butt up to big cities like Austin. And we're now a big city, over a million people. 20 years ago, even 10 years ago, it was mainly cow pasture and some good old boys. And believe me, my family's been down here in this area of Texas for a long time. The corruption up there was known back then. You get good old boys in charge. They own the jail. Their family gets the contracts. And it's come out with uh, you know past mayor and police chiefs up in uh, Georgetown with just stuff. You will just blow your mind what they're doing. Uh, and... I predict Williamson County will end up going down in history. It's one of the most corrupt counties because as it gets bigger and hundreds of thousands of people move in there and they feed on all these new people from California and stuff moving in who have no idea, as they keep running this boss hog situation with hundreds of thousands of people under them, uh, they're going to be brought to justice. And, and, and more and more they are being brought to justice. But Williamson County leadership is a cancer in this country. But the, similar things are going on. They, they've had all these CNN specials about where the police just admit in small towns in Texas, they just pull you over, take your money. You were taught how to do that. You were taught to plant drugs. Talking about your father, who thinks you're bad because you're for marijuana legalization, have you explained to him you were trained to plant drugs? I mean, does he think uh, when you talk to him that that's morally okay? Or, or, or does he just deny that's happening? Unfortunately, like a lot of the older Christians in this land, their ears are stopped. My father won't even look at the evidence. He won't even talk to me about it. He's a military man, and they taught him a certain way, and by God, that's not going to change. And unfortunately, that's the attitude a lot of But doesn't people. he know why we're having Obamacare and open borders and tyranny? It's because we are run by crooks. The, 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 these mainline good Christian people need to stop living in denial. Well, they're responsible for all the uh, uh, needless lives being locked up right now. They've made laws against morals. The Christians decided if they couldn't behave that way and everybody else was having fun dancing and drinking and doing drugs. And the CIA narcotics tra traffickers in the 30s, even before the CIA was set up, they lobbied to have all this done because they'd lost alcohol prohibition. Well, I actually uh, got kilos of crack cocaine off the street that came directly from the CIA when I was a narcotics officer. And I was told at the time that that's what it was, and I didn't believe it because I was brainwashed too. And later in years, when those documents begin to be revealed, I realized I was seizing cocaine that was put here by our own government and putting uh, nonviolent people in jail.